When President Biden named Deb Holland to be U.S. Secretary of the Interior, she made history as the first Native American cabinet secretary in U.S. history. Uh, she also, less historically, created an open seat in Congress. And tonight is the special election to replace her. Now, Republicans desperately want to pick up a seat in the House. Democrats desperately do not want to lose one because of how small the Democratic majority already is in the House of Representatives. Well, polls have closed now in New Mexico's first congressional district. Let's check in with Steve Kornacki to see what we know. Hey, Steve. All right, Rachel. Well, we have a winner in New Mexico's first congressional district special election. The Democrat Melanie Stansberry has defeated Mark Moore's the Republican has defeated him handily. This is not quite all the votes, but this is just about all the votes. And you see here the margin for Stansberry, 24 points over Mark Moore. So the Democrats win the seat. That in and of itself is not a shock. This had been a Democratic seat. Deb Holland, now the Secretary of Interior. This had been her seat. Uh, Joe Biden, the president had carried this district overwhelmingly back in November. So not a huge surprise the Democrats win. But the story and the suspense coming into this election, it was all about the margin. And let me take you through that angle. Two numbers here that were benchmarks coming into tonight. Number one, I mentioned Joe Biden had won this district handily back in November. That's it right there. That's Biden's margin. It was 23 points. That's one of the reasons the Democrats felt confident they could take Deb Holland out of this seat, put her in the Biden cap cabinet take their chances in a special election because Biden had won this thing by 23 points. Also, I mentioned Deb Holland. She was on the ballot for the House last November. Same election as Biden. She won the district by 16 points. So I say there were benchmarks. Those are the two benchmarks coming into this. What Republicans were hoping for was not necessarily to win this seat. Obviously, they would have been thrilled to win this seat. But what Republicans were really hoping for more realistically was for a race that was closer than these two numbers, maybe substantially closer than these two numbers. I think they were hoping potentially for a single digit race, because, of course, you can remember this. Remember when the shoe was on the other foot for Democrats and Republicans back when Donald Trump was president? He had all those special elections, 2017 and 2018, where this pattern emerged, where Democrats were doing substantially better in those special elections than they had in the presidential election. And what was that? That was sort of a signifier that was important of that 2018 midterm wave that was to come for Democrats that got them back in control of the House. So Republicans, now that Biden is president, were hoping that this special election would give them something comparable, would give them a result where, hey, even if they don't win, they could say, hey, in this big, deeply Democratic district, we held the Democrats to Eight points, six points, 10 points, something like that. But again, what you're seeing here is that did not happen. That did not materialize. A 60 to 36 right now. Again, the final votes that are coming in, they could knock this potentially from like 24 down to 23. But basically, Stansberry, I think, is going to at least match Joe Biden's margin in this district of 23 points. Again, this may hold at 24 points. She may end up exceeding the margin. So again, this is... You take these special elections with a grain of salt. There's always sort of varying circumstances involved. But Republicans came in tonight hoping they could get a big talking point, hoping they could get some momentum that would point to a big midterm year for them. And it's Democrats who are going to be coming out of New Mexico one bragging and saying, hey, maybe that conventional wisdom about the midterm being tough for us next year. Democrats are saying now maybe that's a little worthy of reexamination. That's what they'll say. Rachel will be back right after this.